Hello everyone and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be talking about the top 5 most annoying civilizations to play against in Age of Empires 2. Keep in mind these civilizations are not necessarily like the best in the game, they just happen to be the most annoying and the most tedious to deal with. It'll become very obvious once I show you guys the list of what I'm talking about and I'm sure you guys will probably agree. Before I show you guys the list though, I'm going to quickly tell you about a tournament I'm running for the community. It's going to be a 1v1 tournament with cash prizes open to all ELOs. You know that TTL3 running in September, the Platinum League that the pros will be playing in? Well that exact same tournament tournament exact same settings will be running in my discord for all members of the community we're calling it harris coliseum ttl3 edition and if it's a success we'll do it for future big tournaments as well all you need to do to sign up is to have 10 rankings played join my patreon we've got a one dollar tier it's the minimum possible and then just join my discord all information and the announcement will happen tonight so stay tuned for that we'd love to see you guys sign up and we'd love to see you guys playing in there there's going to be cash prizes for all elo groups that we're going to be putting out it's going to be nice and fair and of course i'll be casting the finals of every single elo group on my twitch live stream so we're gonna have some live stream coverage for it and some cash prizes for you guys to enjoy. A great way to bring the community together and really enjoy these tournaments. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the top five most annoying civs. Starting off at number five, we've got the Britons. I know some people might be confused. Britain's number five? They're probably like number one. Now, Britain's are very annoying to play against, and everyone who's ever played a 4v4 in Arabia or a 3v3 in Arabia knows how tedious it is to deal with the extra range that Britain's have on the crossbows. Not only that, but in late game, they go up to 11 range and then 12 range with Arblast and Longbowmen. So the civilization is just a nightmare to deal with. And it's like, okay, sure, just go skirmishers. Well, that could work very nicely in 1v1, but in team games, if you go skirmishers on the flank up against archers, the enemy would just add in knights or scout cavalry from the pocket and then their scouts or knights plus archers will easily beat out your skirms plus whatever your pocket has and so there's really no good way to beat the britons except by completely outpowering them or waiting till late game and try to swarm them with some heavy cavalry or some big siege weapons but other than that the britons just have no answer and their crossbows will completely eat you to shreds Moving on to number four, this is maybe a little bit personal, but I freaking hate playing against the Gurjaras. They are so annoying, man, and there's a reason why they're annoying. They get off to a really good start because they get the sheep in the mill and they get some extra food and all that stuff, but that's fine. It's really the Camel Scout that's the most annoying unit to deal with in the early game. It's so strong at 70 HP, destroys the scout you start with, and it's just a nightmare to deal with that guy. Not only that, though, but once the Gurjaras get to the Castle Age, they get the really strong camels that they have available and the Shuramsha Riders, as I call them, Shawarma Riders, and those are so such a pain to deal with. They are so fast. They chase down your scouts. They destroy your archers if you get enough of them. And even if you go like monks or something to counter the Shuramsha riders, they're so fast that they can just run away from the monks. If you try to go for something like, okay, I'll go pikes to deal with their camels, the Shuramsha riders, boom, all of a sudden you get slapped in the face. They have their unique unit, which shreds pikemen. Gujars have a counter to everything. And I feel like just with their stable alone, they can force you into some really awkward compositions that you're not comfortable playing with. And Gujars have always been just such a tricky sip to deal with. Definitely deserves a spot at number four on the list. Moving on to number three, we've got a civilization that recently got buffed quite a lot, but it's still just as annoying as it was back in the day or before this buff, and that's going to be the Goths. Now, the thing that makes the Goths annoying is not actually the civilization itself. It's the one bonus at the start of the game that lets them get instant loom. This bonus is particularly annoying because that most Goth players, they just send one villager forward, they get loom right away, and they start like laming your villagers. They start killing your boar by just walling in the vill, putting four palisades, shooting the boar until it dies, moving on to the next one and they cause so much chaos in your base with just that first initial vill and it's so annoying to deal with that and even if you manage to deal with that they can easily go for like militia or that are cheaper afterwards they can go for a minute arm rush and continue to harass you sending more bills forward sometimes they'll wall in your berries wall in your wood camp or lumber camp in your wood it's so annoying i've lost so many games to goth players that just send bills forward cause all this kind of disruption and then like once they get to late game like goths are still very annoying because the husk girls are really hard to deal with sometimes if you're an archer sieve their infantry spam can get the better of you and in general this allows civilization just pisses me off more often than not and granted it's not an amazing civilization it's not like the sip will always be hard to beat hard to play against but it's definitely always annoying to play against and that's the point of this list in particular all right, moving on to number two. This one is particularly infuriating. And if I can get a ban in a tournament, I usually ban the Civ because it's just so annoying to deal with. And it's going to be the Cumans. Now, a lot of players might not understand why the Cumans are so annoying to deal with, so powerful. But if you play against any Cuman abuser on the ladder, I'm sure you know. It's that 2TC boom. But it's not so much the 2TC boom that's annoying. It's the fact that they could go for the 2TC boom or they can do anything else. And you can't really know what they're going to go for until they commit to it. And it's really interesting because if you try to go for a strategy that punishes the 2 
CTC boom. Like for example, you go for a fast castle, you want to go all in and push them before they get the castleage. If they just don't CTC boom and they go for scouts themselves, they can easily just kill you before you get the castleage. And so you're kind of gambling which strategy you go for based on you expecting the 2TC. And the 2TC is one of the strongest strategies in the game. It lets them get like a 15, 20 village lead, lets them get a lot of resources. And if you don't punish it accordingly, you can just instantly lose as soon as they get the castleage after booming and feudal. Not only that though, but the recent strategy that Tato really mastered was the cumin 2TC boom plus tower rush forward. And it's so annoying to deal with that. It basically keeps you scrapping them in the feudal age, fighting with villagers, you're getting tower rush the whole time, and then they're getting further ahead because you're on one TC dealing with it in feudal age. They're on two TC. So even if they lose a few villagers by tower rushing you, they're still getting such a big fill lead behind it. And you never even have, to have a chance to counterattack them because they're constantly towering you and putting you in your base, keeping you there and letting them free boom behind it. The Cumin's two TC boom is so annoying. Add on to that tower rush, mega annoying, infuriating, and it's the reason why I earned the number two spot on the list. But there's one sieve that I deem more annoying than Cumin's, and you'll understand once you see number one. But before we talk about number one, let's consider an honorable mention, one sieve that was really close to making the list, but just quite didn't make it. And that's going to be the Saracens. I think the Saracens are a really good civilization overall, but they do have one annoying thing about them, which is the market abuse. It's really annoying to deal with the Saracen market because they can just get up to Castle so much faster than you. Also, their archers break through walls really quickly. So if they just go like mark it up, they get to the castleage, they have crossbows, you can just die on the spot. Your balls won't save you, the tower you made won't save you because they can kill that too. And it's just so infuriating to deal with a you know, all in Saracen push after they get a faster castleage. I'm sure you guys have played against some Saracen market abusers. It's a really strong strategy and it's definitely a quite an annoying one. Another honorable mention real quick is Celts specifically played in Huang fashion. So as always, Huang always gets a shout out for being an annoying all in pusher, but it's kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie, I respect it low key. All right, finally, the number one civ, the most annoying civilization in Age of Empires by far, in my opinion, the Mongols. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a huge Mongol fan myself because I like to be annoying to my opponents because that gets me some nice wins and that makes me feel good inside. But it's not feeling good when my opponent is doing that to me. And Mongols are just so annoying to deal with. They get the scout with extra line of sight from the start, which means they can lame you right off the bat. They see more of the early game. They can get to your boar faster, take that. They can take your sheep. They get a faster fuel edge most of the time because they have the hunt bonus that's so incredibly strong in Dark Age. And with the faster fuel age, they can continue to terrorize you with scouts or men at arms or whatever the case may be. And keeping you stuck inside your base, they're circling your base, taking pretty much any good trade they can find, harassing your villagers, whatever the case may be. And then following up, not only do they get a strong start, a good feudal age, they also get the step lancers that are mega strong in castle age. And if you take the slightest bit of damage in feudal, if you take a little bit of damage to their scouts, you get wrecked by step lancers. Like you get destroyed by step lancers. And not just that, if you manage to survive the feudal age, survive the castle age, get to imperial age, Mongols are one of the best imperial age civs in the game. They've got Mangadai, insane unit. They've got really strong cav archers. They've got great siege with drill. They've got great Hisaris. I mean, Mongols can do literally everything in the late game. So I feel like against Mongols, you're literally always on the back foot and you never have a clear win condition. You kind of just have to hope the Mongol player messes up or else you're going to fall behind. Yes, the Mongols don't have the best mid game economy. So if you just survive the early pressure, you're going to be fine. But most of the time they're able to find damage and it just snowballs so quickly. All right, that's going to be it for my top five most annoying civilizations in AB2. Let me know if you guys agreed to the list or if I missed out on any civilization that is more annoying than the ones on my list. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.